Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you had a wonderful week. We're in my bedroom today because I got a new chair. I've got stuff draped all over it, but I got a pretty little black boucle chair for pretty inexpensive, so I'll link it below. But the first thing I want to tell you about is today's video, this portion is sponsored by Philosophy. And when they contacted me, I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's such a big, well-known company and I was very flattered. And if you have been here a while, you know that this has been a favorite of mine for years. Matter of fact, ooh, okay, it's not as bad. I used to love getting a really big one because it was a little bit more squeezable. Another product I have loved for years has been the Micro Delivery. That product, I had it in my shower consecutively for years, especially when I was dealing with a lot of flaky skin. I would even use it on my Clarisonic. Rest in peace, Clarisonic. They asked me to share with you a sale they have coming up. It starts on the 29th and goes through July 5th. It's up to 30% off of their website. So I'm gonna share with you a few products that they sent me and some of my favorites. And then I'm also gonna list down below some that I already have in my cart because as I was reading about this one, this is one of their best sellers. It's the Amazing Grace Eau de Parfum. Every time I talk to you guys about wanting a fragrance that just makes you smell good, it doesn't really have a bold, reach out and get you type of scent. It's great for people that, like me, that live with someone like John who has very sensitive sinuses. It's also great when you are at work, at church, in business meetings, conferences, all of those things that you want to smell good, but you may be sitting right next to a person and you don't want to just overwhelm them or make them sneeze or make them cough because that has happened to me before and it was very embarrassing. It's happened to my mom before too at a Bible study. <laughs> so I have experienced that and I have experienced wearing things in the truck with John where he had to put the window down. So I've had this for about a week now and I have been wearing it and he likes it. Matter of fact, he, I was all around him and I think we had gone to the pool, we had come home, I had put this on, the. I think it was the day I got it. And I asked him, I let him smell my arm where I put it because I just put one spray. And he actually said he liked it. And for him, that's a lot because typically he would say, that's interesting or something like that. He really liked it. I had tried the regular Amazing Grace, which is also a big seller. They have the Magnolia, they have Lavender, they have a bunch of different types. So make sure you look at all of them. But I really like this one. This one just seems to have a little bit more of a depth to it and a little bit more of what I like. I like a musk skin type scent. And that's what this has. Let me spray another spray on and give you my very sophisticated description. There is something in it that immediately makes me think of beach the beach and a little bit of that summer vibe and i think it might be bergamot but here's the thing with me that's my favorite scents anything that smells beachy or sexy skin like and clean that's my favorite i just want to smell like a good looking vivacious youthful and juicy woman <laughs> does that make sense and that's what this smells like Oh, I love it. I love it. So if you are looking for an everyday signature scent, I think you would love that. Now, they also sent me just the regular Amazing Grace Shimmering Body Lotion. I have tried this, and I don't care for this quite as much as I do this. And you know they have those big jumbo sizes that you can keep in your shower. So that's what I'm going to get of, I never knew they sold this but this is what I put in my cart. It's the big jumbo of Summer Grace Solar Daydream. Oh my gosh, does that sound just amazing? Laying in the sun, the summer air smells of sheer solar florals while your cares float away. You guys, I cannot wait to get that. 
I almost just bought it, but I thought, no, I will wait for the 30% off. And then there are, there's another one that I really wanted too. It's Cabana Girl. But that just sounds good. And I even love the color of this. And then another product that they sent me that I have been just amazed with is this eye cream. I went out to dinner last night with, I would say, she's probably my best friend ever even though we don't talk very often. You, I'm sure you have that friend like that. Like we went through times together that bond you for a lifetime. And if you've been here with me for a long time, you know about my friend Mary that lives in West Virginia. She comes here every summer with her family. And we met them out for dinner. And she said, um, she noticed my under eyes, that my under eyes look good. I've been using this. It is the Dose of Wisdom Dark Circle Brightening Eye Cream with patented oxygen booster technology. Now, you know, I am not a skincare connoisseur, so I'm going to tell you the things that I like about this. First of all, this, the airless pump, fingernails, and just, I just love an eye cream that goes on nicely and comes out of a pump. This is what I do. I put a pump on there. I kind of rub it into my hand. I quickly go under my eye, I kind of circle around, and then I do the other one. It has great reviews and results, and I feel like it is just your everyday, good, nice, go-to eye cream. It wears well under makeup, and I don't have any concealer on. I just have on foundation and a powder that I'm going to show you later, so wholeheartedly recommend this. And this is just perfect. This is also very good for like, I know that like preteens and teens are really into skincare these days. Even my niece that's like 10 years old is really into skincare. This is something I could get for her. It doesn't strip your moisture barrier. It You can just wash your eyes like crazy and it won't sting your eyes. I've just bought this so many times. This also comes in a big one with a pump. My daughter, Brooke, likes this too. And when she saw this, she said a lot of these are bestsellers. So the purity is just, both of these are just, like if someone were to come to me and say, I've never done skincare, I've never really used anything, um, what's something I can get that even my husband and I could use? It would be these things. So don't forget about their 30% off sale that they have starting tonight. And I believe it said, I'll put the dates down here, up to 30% off. And thank you to Philosophy for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have loved your products for years. And now I am very excited about this. And I'm very excited about that new beachy smelling one too. Okay, so let's go on to some things I purchased this week. And then I also put a few favorites and most loved in here. There's not enough time for me to do all the videos that I want to do, I swear, because I, I always want to do favorites, but making three videos a week and then doing other things too really take up all my time. But one of you told me to get this. I love the color. It is the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair Flexible Texturizing Hairspray. Now, yesterday morning, I did a little bit of a hair update and I told you about some other things that I've been loving. So that video will probably be coming up this weekend, but I just got this yesterday. So let's give it a try. I haven't used anything. And my hair, we went to dinner last night and we stood outside for a while. That smells good. Okay, so here's the difference in, you know, one of these volumizing sprays and none because I love these. And I also like, um, I, when you watch that video, you'll see my other ones. But anyway, when we went to the restaurant and got a table, they told us they had a reservation so we could only sit at the table for an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> no! So we sat there and then we knew it was time to get up because we could see them kind of walking around us. And then we stood outside for so long. So my hair is like destroyed, but that's okay. So let's do this and see. I find that when I use a texturizing spray or something like this too, that my hair stays a little bit cleaner and easier to work with longer. One thing is it makes one heck of a messy bun or like Pammy, sexy, updo when you already have some spray in your hair, even from the day before. You can always kind of zhuzh it and revive it. I had actually brushed through all of mine with a paddle brush and oil. So that's why it wasn't, you know, messy looking. 
But anyway, okay, so love that. This is something that Too Faced sent me in a PR package along with their waterproof mascara, which I will never, I mean, I, you shouldn't say which you'll never do. I do not like waterproof mascara. So I don't need mine to last that long. I think a lot of it is because I don't put mascara on my lower lashes. But I do know waterproof mascara will hold your curl better if that is a concern. Anyway, Brooke loves it and she took it. And then I saw this and I thought, you know, I'm going to try this. So many of you ask me about setting sprays and I, I do use them, but I use long lasting makeup and everything. Anyway, well, I got this one and it's got like a little sticker ball in it and I've been using it. And the first day I thought, daggone, what foundation did I use? Then the next day, and I think that day I had used the one I have on today, which is the Dior Forever. Then the next day I used the KVD liquid. I think it's good apple long lasting. And I sprayed this and it did that. I think this really works. It smells good. It does have quite a wide spray. Mm. But oh, it smells really good. What I've been doing is spraying it before I do my eye makeup and before I do my hair because I like to spray it down and then stand in front of my space heater or blow dry my face. And that just gives you that cooked in feeling or cooked in look. And I've really, really liked it. It says 18 hour wear, long wear setting spray and blue light defense. I really think it helps. I'm sure it probably comes in a smaller size, but I think it's worth trying. Okay, speaking of powder earlier, my friend Melody went to Japan and she sent me the most glorious package from there. And in that package was this. It is the Obagi Vitamin C Powder. Okay, I cannot read a thing on there and you will see why. But I have loved this and I know that vitamin C is a big, necessary, anti-aging, good for you ingredient. And I have so many different vitamin C serums, but it makes my skin oily. And so I have been using this and I've been loving it. I'm sure that there is a difference in the whole delivery system and how well that works. But I'm going to look on, I meant to do it before this video, I'm going to look on Amazon and online to see if this is available because this has been a game changer for me. And this is what I've used today to set underneath here. So loving it. And then speaking of powders, I came across a Scott Barnes video. And I have to say, tell me if you agree. I love his videos because they're so raw. Like, he has not put on a production. He doesn't have the perfect set. He has just gotten someone to film, probably with their iPhone, what he is literally doing as far as putting on makeup on someone. And on that day, he was talking about the whole Aquaphor thing. Well, I have not tried the under eye Aquaphor thing because honestly, the sound of it is just not um, something I like just, I don't know. And I'm just not that concerned about it. But he was doing that. And he was using these powders to set her makeup. They're the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. And he said that these will make your makeup bulletproof. So I picked up 220 and 310. And I have used them several times. But I've got so many different things I've been using that I haven't used them every day. But the day that I did, I actually used both colors. The 310 was almost like a pre-contour, pre-bronzing powder to me. It was a little bit darker than my skin tone. And then I went in with this, but I was impressed. They did not look cakey. They did add extra coverage. It may be something that you want to try. Okay, something else that I purchased this week is the new Lancome bronzers. And I went to Dillard's and they had these. I just went in there to look for something else. And I usually stop by the counters. The girls that are working there have been there a while now. So they pretty much know what I like. And she was telling me about these. It is, let's see, this one is the 03 Light Medium Transforming Bronzer. And I do have this on today in conjunction with the other one. When I saw this one, 
I just couldn't pick because they're so different. This is the 05 Tan. The reason I like this one is because I'm a sucker for the rosy toned bronzers. See how that's got kind of like that rosy tone? And it just adds that extra Victoria's Secret look. I wouldn't get it if you're not into contour, like this contour look that I have. But today I started out with this one and then went over this lightly. And that is what is giving me that yummy contour look that I love, I love, but we all like different things. And the beauty is we all like different things and what we like changes. So loving those, very smooth. And I love Lancome products. Okay, one of you on Instagram in my DMs told me about this. Evidently, it's taking Instagram and TikTok by storm. I had never heard of it, but it's the Tear Tear Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. It says Amazon exclusive. I had to guess at my color. So I guessed 23N, which is neutral, and 24 Soft Beige. Both of these are too light. So I'm not sure if I will return. Amazon is very good about returns. So I probably, if I had to say will, let me show you how nice they are. So they come in this package. It was pretty daggone impressive. And oh, okay, they open like this. It comes with this and you can tell this is the one that I tried. And then you open this and here is the foundation. Okay, since I've already tried this, I'll go ahead and show you. You just press in there and then you can tap for more coverage. But I really found that even when I smoothed it out, because I did try it, I was gonna try to make it work. Look at that from one and th very, very thin. If you know, you know about the these type of foundations. So I do want to try to get my color. So if you are a shade sister, then I will try to order these today and get our right shade so you don't have to do like I did and order the wrong colors. Okay, and then last week, remember when I was showing you the M Cosmetics, which is Michelle Fawn's line, I was showing you the blush. I've got the pink one on today. Oh my gosh, so good. Her products are so good. When I find the shades that work for me, I really fall in love with her products. And I was telling you about this palette, which has been one of my favorites for years now, but I told you that it dropped when I was out of town. And this is the Rodin palette. I just had to show it to you because it's so good. I'm gonna order another one today, but I mean, look at the divots in those colors. That's how much I've used them. And then a few months ago, they sent me this one. So I saw it the other day and I thought, let me give that one another try because at that time, I wasn't into as much of a crease color, but I've been using this and it is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, was this one a limited edition? This one is Saturn's Return. I hope it wasn't a limited edition, but both of them are the Define Skies Eye Palettes. And I've got this on today. Let me show you the colors I have on. So I have on this color and then I have on this color in the crease, this one kind of that color I love so much that's a purpley brown. I have that shimmery thing on the lid. And then I think that's all. Oh, I might have done, yeah, the little bit darker one I did do before I put on my eyeliner, but just beautiful. I mean, they're really good. They're so good. I love them. Okay, lips. Lips this week. First, let me start with the most used lip liners this week. I've kind of gotten into my pinks and a little bit more color again. And so this lip liner has been working out well. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me. Even if I layer this over something like this one, shade four. Sorry if I didn't make that clear, but it's described, I think, as a rosy cinnamon. But it's the Freck lip liner that I showed you last week. This is the shade four and it's so good. It's almost, oh my gosh, look how close they are. But you can see how one has a little bit more pink to it. Mm, get them, they're so good. They make me happy. This is just beautiful, beautiful. And then the lip colors, I've got two makeup videos coming up for you. One will be this coming Monday, and then the next Monday, I'll have another makeup video. I'm trying so hard to be everything for everyone. I'm trying to hit fashion. I'm trying to hit mindset. I'm trying to hit hauls. I'm trying to hit makeup. 
and I'm just doing my best. So I've done some makeup videos that will be coming and I'll tell you about how I've kind of been getting into the pink lips. And a friend of mine was wearing this. It is the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss. Let's see, Lip Injection Gloss. And the color is People Pleaser. So it's discontinued, I think. I had to order it from the Too Faced website and I think it's out of stock now and it's so pretty. So let me show you the color because you might know of something I could get that's pretty similar. I've got some colors that I'm gonna try, but I have been loving that. And then when I was on there to get free shipping, I ordered Pretty Pony that I have already given away. When I met my friend last night, Mary, I took her a bag of goodies, Overflow. My cup is full and so now I can give Overflow. And cause it was just like a light pink with some sparkle. It wasn't that unique to me, but this one I really love. It's called Just Friends. I've got it on today with those two lip liners and it's super pretty. It's very, a very understated pink, nudie, rosy pink. It looks very good with those lip liners. And these glosses are not, they don't sting. Like, I think I've gotten so used to using the ones that are like extra strength and this and that, that I don't like. These are not like that. My lips just feel cool. You know what I mean? Like, like there's air condition blowing on them. So that's what I've got on now. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand up for this part so I can show you the clothes and the shoes and some other things. First of all, these Javianas, aren't they beautiful? I did not even think that they are the same color as that glorious St. Laurent bag that I showed you in my, I'll put it up here, Atlanta haul. Again, thank you for all the great response on that. I believe, I can't remember what the, seems like the color was called rose of some sort, but I am going to try to go get my nails done today. I tried yesterday and didn't have time, but I want to get this color. So I thought that was so pretty. And something that might throw you off is if you are an eight, it will say seven, eight or nine, 10. And you're thinking, which one do I get? Or eight, nine, I can't remember. But anyway, I am a true size eight and I do get the seven, eight. I've gotten the one up and it's too big. It's real floppy on your foot. So get your true size as in it might even include the size before it. I hope that makes sense. Okay. This dress that I have on is new. I told you that I am in my black dress era these days. Oh, and these earrings, you guys, a few left. I checked to see if they were still available today. I think these have been just my favorites for a while. These and the ones that look like Bottega um, inspired, but these are from J. Crew, and I really, really like these. They're light and I think they pack a lot of impact and I love them. And then this dress, okay, gorgeous. Let me tilt you down a little bit so you can see. Excuse the microphone here, but gotta do what we gotta do. And then I've got on these little Tory Burch shoes. I have loved these shoes, extremely comfortable. And I love this gold like mirror finish. But if this isn't your thing, the nude ones or the black ones, I think you would love. Now this dress has a little bit of, I feel like it's got a little bit of that Marilyn Monroe mixed with a little bit of Kate Moss <laughs> because it's got the edginess of these, but I love that they're still gold and not silver. And then the belt has these, but I'll be honest with you, I think I am going to probably put, use this as one of those dresses that I can put my belts with. Like maybe even if you have a Gucci belt or some kind of studded belt, I might do that or a wide belt. This would also be a good boot dress. If you wanted to wear this with some really cool boots, I just, I love it. The, this, or you could turn this around and tie it in the back if you wanted this to show, but it's a lot of possibilities. It wasn't very expensive and I will list what size and everything. Okay. If I tighten it, I think when I was sitting down, it got loose. Just, I love it. It's just so pretty. Okay, and then this is something you have seen before. I wore this in a video and I had ordered the medium and tried to make it work. 
I loved it so much and I could really tell it was too big that I ordered it again in the small and I wore this out to dinner last night. I love it. It's very sexy, very Sex in the City, Carrie Bradshaw. It does have the adjustable straps. If it's too risque and shows too much for you, one of my favorite things to do, especially if you could find just a good black or blue, is just get a nice bralette to wear under it or cami, but just very, very pretty, a good length. I always think of like, I do think of Carrie Bradshaw when I think of dresses like this. Yolanda Foster is another one that would always wear really good dresses that were, she wore a lot of Victoria Beckham dresses, but good dresses that are still midi length. And I just love it. Looks good with flip-flops or a heel. A heel that I've been loving, sorry, couldn't remember what shoes I had on, are these from Amazon. They come in like probably 20 different varieties, but they're just good everyday heels. They give you that extremely nude look, but they're not, they don't look strippery and they've got a good heel, just perfect, true to size. And then I have a little Zara order. I ordered this halter top. It's got this pretty back to it. My plans are to wear this little bit of cool girl style with some either trousers or jeans and flat sandals. I think is going to be my way of wearing it. And then I got this dress. You guys know what a sucker I am for the rosettes and this color. This would also look really good with a like a, I mean, take it right out of your husband or your boyfriend's closet, an oversized blazer, true boyfriend style, like really like you have been to a dinner or a party and you got a little chilly and he gave you his jacket. To me, that is the best way to wear a boyfriend blazer. And this is perfect. One of my favorite colors. And then my black dress fetish. I love halter. And I love the tie behind. Oh, I didn't even see. I could probably do without those, the little wooden beads. Um, but it does give that more summer beachy vibe. There you go. And then from Amazon, I ordered myself some bodysuits. A lot of mine that I got from Zara, the halter bodysuits that they don't sell anymore. Can you believe they don't sell those? I felt like that was an every year, just change the color type of thing, but they quit selling them and I miss wearing them. So I found these on Amazon and I ordered the black. See, it's just the good halter bodysuit. These look so good like this, where with a pair of black trousers and simple sandals, very cool girl, summer cool girl. This with a pair of ooh, cream trousers or maybe some of those, uh, the Pilcro jeans that I've been sharing with you lately with all the different designs. I think this is just such a pretty, oh, I can't wait to make a video in this. Such a pretty, like nudie, pink, gorgeous, very Valentino. And then, can you tell what colors I like? Then I got the good light blue. This would look great with white denim, I bet. And then, let's see, this was probably like some things I order, I would say 20% of what I order is kind of disappointing. And something about 20% is extremely exciting and I love it and I can't wait to show you. This came and it came rolled up like this small. And John was like, what is this? I said, I don't know. I remember ordering that and it was something weird. And he was having a hard time getting the tape off of it. I said, don't worry about it. I said, because if I can't remember, it, it must not be anything special. So he undid it and I have put stuff on it to keep it open. And when I really took the time to read it, I love it. Okay, so it's this artwork and it says, girl keeps buying clothes and makeup, but she never leaves the house. Queen of the unseen style, her wardrobe's only fan. Okay, I'm not even going to go through and read this all to you, but let's just say I went back and ordered this one again in the small version, along with three more and I'm planning on having them framed. They are so cool. They are so cool. Let me see if I can just find 
Inside her beautifully curated wardrobe, she has built a sanctuary of self-expression where she can freely explore different styles, experiment with makeup, and embrace her personal tastes. Her bedroom has become her runway and the mirror her audience as she celebrates fashion and beauty on her own terms. With her unconventional approach, the girl has ignited a revolution of self-expression, proving that fashion and beauty are not confined to external judgments, but can serve as empowering tools to celebrate one's authentic self. Oh my gosh. That gave me butterflies. Oh, trans your However, upon closer inspection, it becomes apparent that her passion for clothes and makeup transcends societal expectations. While society often associates fashion and beauty with outward appearance, appearances and public appearances, she defies the norms. This is like how I believe in a nutshell, and so are the other ones. So if you are like me and you love this whole vibe and you love what these say, let's get these and frame them. They're kind of like vision board type things. I just love it. It's so inspiring. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. My earrings, oh, I put my Lisa necklace back on. You know what I love about this besides the whole, it's a little bit, I got the 10 karat gold one, so I never have to take it off. It doesn't turn. I've had this for years, you guys know. I love that it has the Carrie Bradshaw Sex in the City vibe just because that is, I don't know, that's like part of my style, part of my brand, part of my life. And I mean, I'll never forget, we used to watch it and that music would play and Brooke would come out and dance to it. And of course, we'd have to get her settled because she couldn't watch that because it was risque. But she even watches it to this day. And we talk about the different episodes. And another reason I love it is because it doesn't get turned around. It never fails. Every picture I take, my necklaces are turned around with the clasp showing. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm taking this off and I'm putting on a necklace that doesn't get turned around. And I thought about this one. I was like, yes. So love it. And um, anything else? I have my ring is a Miranda Fry. It's the Lisa ring. I'm not even sure if it's still available. And that is it. So thank you for watching. Thank you to Philosophy for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will put all the details down below. I'm very flattered to even be acknowledged by them, and I will see you guys later. I'm flattered to be acknowledged by you too. Bye-bye.